Selamat sore semuanya dan selamat datang di program bulan Ramadan ke Dubes Australia Jakarta yang berit bersama Chef Holda Hanaway. Bulan suci Ramadan merupakan waktu yang sangat spesial. Ini waktu yang tepat untuk merefleksi kebaikan dan berkat dalam hidup. Nama saya Emma dari Kedubes Australia di Jakarta dan saya akan menjadi MC hari ini. Nah, hari ini kita akan menonton demo masak oleh Chef Hoda Hanaway, chef asal Australia, pencipta berbagai resep dan pengusaha. Dia juga adalah finalis dari Master Chef Australia pada tahun 2018. Hari ini, kita, hari ini, Chef Hoda akan memasak sesuatu yang spesial untuk kita, yaitu makanan Fusion Australia Indonesia yang cocok untuk berbuka puasa. Bisakah kamu menebaknya? Makanannya adalah bubur susum Anzac Biscuit. Yang akan menemani Chef Hoda hari ini adalah Izzy, seorang fotografer makanan dan blogger makanan dan gaya hidup dari kota Sydney. Oke, okay. sebelum kita mulai, saya ingin mengundang Anda semua untuk bergabung di tetangan Rikuk setelah demo masak hari ini. Masuk bubur sumsum enzak biskuit versi kamu dan tepatkan kesempatan untuk memenangkan Macadamia Australia. Juga, terima kasih kepada partner kami, Masak TV, atas dukungnya untuk kegiatan Rikuk Challenge ini. Oke, okay. yuk. Kita bertemu dengan Chef Holda dan Izzy. Dan jangan lupa Halo. tulis pertanyaan kamu untuk Chef Holda di kolom komentar ya. Halo semuanya. Halo Mbak Izzy. Halo Chef Holda. Halo. Halo. Apa kabar? Halo, Hawaii. Hai. Halo. Sore. <laughs> Nama saya Izzy dan ini Huda. Kita mau bikin bubur sumsum -sum dengan anzac biscuit dan kacang macadamia. So Huda, what are we starting with? <laughs> oh, well, look, let's start with the praline. So awesome. what I like to do, my recipes are super, super simple. And can I just start by saying Ramadan Mubarak to all of you in Indonesia? Because, you know, it is the beginning of Ramadan, a yeah. time where we all come together, come and eat. And, and it's, you know, it's just, it's a beautiful atmosphere. I love nice. it. So... I'm going to start with uh, my praline, and this is the Anzac Biscuit-inspired uh, praline. Okay. What I've done with the bulbul sumsum is uh, made it so that once you eat it all together, it tastes almost like an Anzac Biscuit, nice. but in a pudding form. Awesome. So we'll get started with that. I've got my little pan going. So um, what goes in the praline first? Okay, so what I want to do is I've got some rolled oats here, and that's yeah. that's crucial to an Anzac biscuit. Um, and did you, um, and how many cups is that? Cups? Oh, look, we, <laughs> we measure by eyesight. We don't need <laughs> measurements. Um, there are measurements on the recipe, yeah. but it's really equal portion. So okay. a third of a cup um, for like each of the ingredients that go yeah. in the praline. And what I like to do first is toast off the oats okay. just gives it it brings out their flavor it makes it uh, a bit more uh, like a, a bit more smokier flavor yeah. in the background so what I'm going to ask you to do yes. Izzy if you don't mind yes, now I we don't spoke mind. a little bit about macadamia nuts yes. and we are using macadamia nuts in this recipe and they are indeed Australian macadamia nuts so yummy <laughs> oh delicious no, I love macadamias. them look they they're really really rich in um, antioxidants they've got a lot of nutrients mm. and best of all for the for the gut yeah wow very good <laughs> doesn't make you bloated so it. use it in there and yeah. what we want to do is just roughly chop them okay. so that we can add them to this so it's still coarse i'm not going to finally chop them right? yeah we just yeah. we want a little bit of texture okay. so with this praline it's not smooth there are going to be a few different textures, but it's going to be a beautiful, crunchy, custody pudding at the end. Oh, yeah. Sounds so good. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually never had bubur sum sum before, but I know that like I spoke about it with my auntie and cousin and my friends, and they yeah. all love bubur sum sum. So I'm yeah. so excited to try your version first. Oh, I'm glad yeah. you're. 
<laughs> you're tr- you're excited to try my version. I know. Okay. I am. I love <laughs> Anzac biscuits and macadamias. Excellent. That is, <laughs> we'll see how this one you know comes out in the end. Yeah. Uh, to that as well, I'm going to add um, some shredded coconut. Yeah. So again, I want that shredded coconut. It's going to be the same amount as the oats. Okay. And all I want to do is toast that off too. So how are you going? With the macadamia, should I cut it a bit more or? Uh, look, I think that I think that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. I think that's good. <laughs> so we'll get that up a bit, and we can add the macadamia straight yeah. in. So if you want to bring that board yeah. over, yeah. So di dalam panci kita ada uh, kelapa parut dan gandum dan uh, kacang macadamia. <laughs> Back yeah, to the good. side, <laughs> and you know the yeah. best tools in the kitchen are what, Izzy? What is it? <laughs> Love it. All right, so just toast it. That's okay. what we want to do. Um, get that going. It will be nicely browned. We'll start to smell those aromas in there. Lovely. And then we'll get to add the 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 golden mm. syrup. Because... Terus kita mau tambahin uh, sirup emas ini. Yeah, so what that golden syrup is going to do, that golden syrup is really just cooked down uh, cane sugar oh. with a bit of water. But it's been turned, it's like it's just been let go yeah, to, so much brown. so that it's yeah. very, uh, you can see the color of it. Yeah. Like it's a dark uh, syrup yeah, because of that. Golden syrup. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why it's a golden syrup. Love it. Cool. So, yeah, we'll test those so have you been back to indonesia at um all i went two years ago like during a holiday and then, yeah yeah but i miss it so much i miss the food yeah oh yeah and i just miss eating martabak every day <laughs> i love martabak yeah Yum. there's so much butter but oh, doesn't okay. matter <laughs> butter, butter is good yeah. Can you see the block of butter yeah, right now? Yes, of course. <laughs> but equals flavor. <laughs> Yum. I, the... Like every time I go to India, I would like gain five kilos. I'm not oh, even yeah. joking. <laughs> um... You know, the thing, the thing for me with recipes is I like to, this is not traditional. Mm. You know, I've, I've looked at the traditional recipe and I know that in Indonesia, they eat um, for Ramadan to break the fast. Yeah they eat this warm and, uh, mm. you know, it, it, like, I mean, I've had it as well warm and it does warm the soul. It's like <laughs> a, a hug in a bowl. Mm. So um, what I wanted to do today was give you two versions of the Anzac. Um, uh, bubur sumsum, yeah. if I'm saying it. Yeah, yeah bubur sumsum. Got it right. <laughs> um, so it's going to be a hot version yeah. and it's going to be a cold version. Right. And that's, I think... What is going to show people the difference of what you mm. can do to something that's so traditional, yeah. but also use it every day as mm. well. So, and usually Indo is hot, like Indonesia is um, pretty humid, so a cold version would be ideal. Yeah. Ideal, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Now, some people also like to eat it as as a dessert, and that's why mm. I guess the cold version is I designed that. As a dessert, yeah. But I did look at the components, and I don't know. There's there's like a dumpling or something sometimes that they make, yeah. That they put in the bubur uh, sum sum. Oh, I think I might know what you're talking about. Is it like it's got glutinous rice outside, yes. and it's got like peanut filling or I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And they eat that together. So, Ooh. well, I guess this Anzac praline is going to be replacing that. <laughs> so we've got nicely toasted. I'm just going to lower the heat yep. a little bit now. Oh, that's you can smell that. <laughs> yeah, it's perfectly it's, brown. <laughs> yeah, perfectly brown. If you can get that. And yeah. all we're going to do now is pour our golden syrup. Okay. And that, that's right. It can drip yeah. there for a bit. <laughs> and just mix that around. So coat... You want to get all of that coated. You just want to be careful that you're not burning it. So yeah. that's why you see me lift it off mm. the heat and then place it back yeah. down because it does drop the temperature mm. very quickly. So we do want to give that just a little bit of a 
a coating and a cooking as well. And I see you're doing it with a silicon um, yeah. spoon. Why so is that? Silicon and non-stick fry pan. Mm. It's going to be your best friend in the kitchen, <laughs> especially when you're working with sugar because it doesn't look at that. I'm just going to show you oh, right wow. now. See that? Beautiful. How it comes? Mm. Perfect. So what we get, why we started with this first is because once I've got it to where I need it to get to, mm. I'm actually going to then transfer it to the baking paper yeah. and spread it out thinly and then just leave it there so that it sets while we're cooking the actual burrul sauce. Yeah. And we need that time for it to set, don't we? Yeah. It, we, we kind of want that. This is going to add the crunch to the mm. dish. So we're almost there cooking off you can see nice. as well that it's thickened now mm. right mm. I know I can, <laughs> my mouth is salivating I, I love the smell of toasted coconuts and it's, also oh, toasted macadamias of course <laughs> now to all of you watching at home I'm very sorry because I know I know that you're fasting but I promise you the recipe is going to be up so that you can make this at home because Trust me, you're going to want to make this at home. <laughs> okay, we're coming over now. And we're just going to drop that on our baking. I'm trying to be very careful yeah. that I get it sort of in one go. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's that done. So just nice. smooth it out a bit. Let that cool down completely and then we'll get back to it towards the end. Awesome. So now what are we making? The actual bubur sumsu? Yes, the bubur sumsu okay. is now next and just moving these out of the way. Get that on. Okay, so the actual recipe is uh it's super easy super easy i mean i was actually shocked because i love easy recipes mm. i don't know about you but for me especially if it's nice too <laughs> look full of the thing about food is you want flavor you don't have mm. to put five grams of something and 10 grams of something else uh like like the lebanese community and the middle eastern community i'm pretty sure that the indonesian community all cook by by looking, by tasting, mm, by feel. Totally. This is what food is about. And when I saw this recipe and I said, oh, like what's the components of a bubur sum sum? Mm. And it was really, you know, just a few ingredients. I was very excited about that. <laughs> so to my pot here, I am going to move it slightly off the heat first. Yeah. So what are you adding here first? Okay. So we've got rice flour. Yeah. Okay. That's the yeah. the basis. <laughs> so we're starting. Uh, kita mau taruhin uh, tepung beras dulu. You want about a hundred grams of that. Okay. Put that aside. And then next, so this one is put everything into the bowl, whisk into the saucepan, whisk. Put it on the heat and mm. just like maybe have a cup of coffee or no, you're fasting. <laughs> Don't have a cup of coffee. But Later. just, you know, <laughs> whisk it. Um, so we're going to drop that in. Yeah. Right. The santan, yeah. That's our coconut. Yeah, coconut milk. Milk, yes. And I'm going to add actually a, a little bit more to that. Mm. There we go. Now, the flavour. So normally pandan is used. Normally, mm. I think it was um, a type of palm sugar um, yeah. that is used in it. So, but today, because it's an Anzac biscuit inspired, mm. we're going with brown sugar and the all important mm. salted butter. Mm. Because I also noticed that in the recipe, there was um, there was salt, a pinch of a yeah. pinch of salt added to this. Mm. So they, ini metegaknya uh, asin dan kita mau di uh, melelekan. Dan ini gula merah. Kita pakai gula gula merah, uh, enggak gula, enggak ya, uh, sorry. 
<laughs> oh gosh, what saying? Um, kita anggap pakai gula uh, Jawa karena ini kan kita mau bikin anzac biscuit bubur sum sum. Okay, so all we want to do now is mix and whisk until those ingredients marry beautifully together. <laughs> so. I'm going to lift it up there and show mm. that. See, that butter has started to melt. Yeah. That brown sugar is beautiful. It actually has a nice molasses mm. caramel in there and it changes the colour. Nice. So, so in Anzac biscuits, normally you find butter, rolled oats, golden syrup, brown sugar, flour. Yeah. Cool. Everything pretty much, the coconut. Yeah. <laughs> So this was such a perfect dish to be able to make a fusion. And I was super excited to be coming up with this mm. because why not? You've got oh. something that's a staple of um, <laughs> Australia and yeah. Indonesia together. Awesome. So I just wanted to ask, um, yeah. how do you celebrate, celebrate Ramadan in Sydney? So in, in Sydney, I mean, Ramadan in general, Ramadan's yeah. a time where we yeah, apart from the religious occasion, it's it's a time that we all get together. It's almost like a Christmas or, mm. or an Easter gathering, you know. Um, every night for for the whole month of Ramadan, you know, we we break fast together. It's no nobody likes to sit by themselves mm. and, and break fast. So it creates this atmosphere of social connectedness, you know. Yeah. Um and I have to say that during this, you know, this whole pandemic that we've been going through and, you know, we experienced it as well, like from mm. last year, yeah. it hasn't been easy to to be going to one another. But, you know, a lot of people improvised. It was, it was quite um, interesting to mm. watch. Even my family, what we did was we FaceTimed each other at, so at the yeah. break, of, you know, uh, and we, we were just break fast in our own home <laughs> but we'll be on on FaceTime together mm. and we just had to maintain that bit of like togetherness yeah and then as the restrictions you know they started Eased. to lift a bit then it became a bit more easier to at least visit our parents you know oh, okay. and, and whatnot but it is it is a time for sharing a meal together mm. you know sparing a thought for those who are less fortunate um it's 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 a soul cleansing month mm. you know you just you just go through it and you you really look at yourself as an individual and a human being and that's what it's so all it's about. very spiritual absolutely wow cool. yeah nice. okay so that's melting nicely don't worry if you see the butter sort of come to the top of the um saucepan here as it is like this just gonna keep whisking that but that because what will happen is as the rice flour starts to cook it will thicken mm. and then it will all emulsify and that's when you've got your delicious hug in a bowl <laughs> that gets me excited yeah. I don't know about you but it does <laughs> it gets me so excited so you're stirring this until it gets a bit thicker yeah mm. now I'm using a whisk mm. very simple um equipment yeah. for this as well so how does whisk. aduk dari uh whisk uh yeah and a spatula yeah cool so you only need those and then i've got a serving spoon <laughs> a big one very big because you want a big one <laughs> yeah um and that we just you want to keep whisking because as it yeah. thickens if you don't whisk it it's going to clump mm. so you want that even distribution yeah. of the rice flour around the whole pudding mm. and that's coming you can see that it's starting to thicken now cool. there we go yeah so, so how long does ramadan go for well it's one month it's 30 days okay um and it's by lunar calendar so a lot of people say oh but i thought ramadan was you know such time last mm. year and it's uh because it's lunar calendar it 
practically starts 10 days backwards every year. Okay. So 10 days uh, before okay. the year that we just went. What time do they break fast in Indonesia? Um, I'm not too sure. Like usually, yeah, so if it's sundown, it would be around 6, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, six, oh. So similar to us here in yeah. Sydney now. Seven. <laughs> I've got I've got my um my son who's practicing, uh you know trying to fast, but he can. It's so cute. You see them and they're like counting down the minutes. Mum, is it five forty eight yet? I want to have my first, you know, sip of water. Um, but yeah, I mean, you get the kids. You know, they sort of grow and and want a trial, and you know. That's amazing though, That's like amazing. not you're not just fasting food, but you're also fasting water and yes. drinks. Wow, oh, that's admirable. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, a lot of people say, how can you do it? Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know how you do it. But really, when you actually think about the principles of Ramadan and, and what it stands for, you don't think about it anymore like that. Like you don't then think about, oh, I can't eat, I can't drink. So, mm. yes, the first day will be about your headaches from the coffee withdrawal. Mm. <laughs> I love my coffee. So, yes, needless to say, I had the headaches the first day. But after that, it just becomes a walk. Like, you know, you're just like, yep, it's a fact of life, mm. you know, and, and you understand why you're doing it and that's, that's key. In, yeah. in, you know you don't just want to do something religiously for mm. the sake of doing it but I love how like with Ramadan like after you break fast you would go, um, get together with family and friends yeah and you would eat together with good food and I think Always. your family and friends are like very like yeah they're just very um fortunate to have you oh to have me <laughs> yeah to have yeah. you cooking amazing food oh don't worry I make them <laughs> I make them pay back to, you know, um, like, yeah, look, it is. And when you're invited to, for example, my mum's place, yeah, yeah, no, I don't cook, mum cooks, oh. you know, mum's cooking is always the most delicious, right? So it's, look, it is, it is nice. It is nice to sort of, it's a time that actually forces us to stop what we're doing mm. and go. Because yeah. usually you're always busy. You might go, you, someone might tell you, let's yeah. go out for dinner, you know, let's go out for So it's like something. setting your priorities straight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So this is coming together nicely. It is, I'm just increasing the heat slowly. So yeah. you do not want to start this on a high heat. And the reason for that, apart from the fact that this is a, a little tip you know I'm known for um Huda's hot tips did you know that <laughs> no I didn't I always give hot tips while I'm Love it. <laughs> while I'm cooking um do not put your pan on high heat mm. and the reason for that is because it will ruin the pan oh you might want to step back it's yeah, starting all to ruin. good <laughs> but um uh the other thing is you don't want to burn what's in there so mm. always for me when I'm making custards or puddings I do like to start it from like a medium heat. Is mm. yeah. you oh, can that's, see yeah, that that's, that's coming up very thick. thick. Yeah. And that's what it is. It's almost like I don't know. Is it? Would you say that it's like an Indonesian like porridge kind of thing? Yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah, I've never had it though, but yes. You know, <laughs> for me, because this sort of thing excites me and then I start playing around with many other things so savory sweet oh, um you know thing uh, different flavors that you actually yeah. wouldn't think of yeah. so you can see now we've got our pudding consistency there yeah but I am going to just cook it off a little bit mm. further and the reason for that is because no one wants to eat um you know, and have a powdery tongue yeah. with the rice mm. flour. So you do want that cooked off. Ni bubur sum sum ya, udah kental. Iya, udah mau jadi ya. Like, so it's going to be ready soon, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I reckon it's about a minute away. Yeah. Or less. 
And then we're just gonna giving yourself an arm workout. Yeah, are we? Of course, you, want, <laughs> you want exercise? Do this. Are you left-handed as well? Because you're doing. Oh wow! Yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> I've got more power in this. Oh yeah, that sounds like it's so odd <laughs> seeing someone do it with that left yeah. arm. <laughs> okay, and there we. That's it. There. I'm actually gonna just turn that off. There we go. So, can we see that? Yeah. Delicious. That's going to be our hot version. Now, straight plate up, I guess. We're going to go, we'll move those to the side. We've got a bit of golden syrup there just for, you know, decoration. So. <laughs> we like drama, or well, I do anyway. <laughs> Look at that. Stunning. That's wow. very velvety, mm -hmm. very smooth. And we're just going to go and put that straight in the middle of our bowl here. And why not go for a second spoonful? Because after all, you are breaking your fast on this. Isn't that correct? Mm. So. And usually when you break your fast, don't you have something sweet first? Mm. Yeah. I mean, see, we, we start off with a, with a date and that oh. sort of just paves the way. So this is the perfect recipe to break your fast. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Now I'm going into the fridge because I'm bringing out what I made earlier, mm. and that is the um, cold the version, cold, yeah. which I just I set it into ramekins, and then I demolded that. And you've got to hot, mm. cold. Both of them can be delicious. <laughs> anyway, let's check up on our on our um, praline here. We'll just break that up a bit. Yep. So ideally, this will be sitting for a bit longer and then this will actually crispen up. So it will be crackly. Yep. So just wanted to ask as well, yep. like what food in Australia do you usually um, eat to break the fast? What food do I usually eat? Or just Australians in general? You know, for for us, I don't know, we have this like sort of uh, general, um, uh, you know, meal plan where we have, we always start off like obviously that piece of date, it's sweet mm. and it's um, like with, with all the nutritional benefits of it, it paves the way for then filling your belly. But we always have like a, a hot soup. Mm. And then we have a salad of some sort, which is mm. usually like fatouche or tabbouleh. That's, oh, yeah. that's for us anyway. Um, and then a main meal and then something sweet to finish off mm. the, the night. So but, did you say soup and then uh, tabbouleh? Yeah. It? And then soup and then um, something sweet. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So it, it just it, it allows, you know, it just sort of builds up, I guess. Mm. You're doing bit by bit. The warm soup softens the esophagus. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if you're fasting all day and then you just start eating, you're gonna be very sick. Yeah, right. So you don't want to be doing that. <laughs> Trust me. So the Australi si huda bilang huda makanin makan tabuli dulu terus fatush dan sup yang panas. And also, uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> oh, yeah, try to get my spoons. Um, dan makanan yang manis, yeah. So something sweet at the end. Yeah. yeah. So the longer this sits, the more you can see like it's thickened up and, and mm. all that. But what we're gonna do now is just put a bit here. Now the traditional um, recipe for bubur sumsum. They pour, I think they make a syrup out of the um, palm sugar mm. and then they they drizzle that on top. Yeah. That's that one. I'm just going to use my golden syrup and, you know, you guys got to see Harusnya that. gula jawa, yeah. But sekarang kita mau, kita drizzling, uh, yeah, golden uh, syrup emas. Okay. That is our 
bubur sumsum bubur sumsum yang panas ini inspired the, the hot, by yeah the hot, the hot version the hot version <laughs> inspired by the anzac biscuit right that's one and then we're going to do maybe let's go we'll, we'll see if, if you like <laughs> you want to grab some you want to yeah. plate this one up and then i'll draw you can sure. why not jump in i love you know cooking in the kitchen with people i'll hold that for yeah, you yeah thank you i didn't make life easy oh good so other than we'll macadamias what nuts would you could you put on look you can use really any um nut but yeah. i love macadamia nuts mm. i love their texture yeah and the the flavor as well like it's almost a neutral but at the same time it like because of the texture in it it just i don't know it's it's one of my favorite nuts mm, yeah i love <laughs> to macadamias use. too so excellent so we've got a bit more there i'm going to place yeah. just a few yes yeah, so let's, <laughs> let's make those macadamias <laughs> we have a lot here. shine that's all right Awesome. And then what I just like to do a little bit is I'll grab some of the dry um, ingredients and just put them around on the plate. Mm. If you're serving this to someone coming over, you just want to, you know, pretty it up a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. And we can add those in their form because what we're going to do now is also drizzle. Our golden syrup on there. Nice. Look at how delicious that looks. <laughs> now, guess what you're doing, Izzy? What am I doing? <laughs> I don't like to taste test my own food all the time. <laughs> so, Izzy, you can do the honors. Taste the hot yeah. and the cold. Oh, cool. Soft. With the whole well, first. We what I want to actually do, you can you can start with any if you yeah. want. Oh, but, okay. Um, I might go with. Oh wait, yeah, I'll go with the cold first. I just want to remind everyone. I promise. The recipe will be up, uh, by the end of this segment, and um, there there is a, also a competition, isn't there? Yeah. There's a competition which I'm very <laughs> excited about, and that competition is with thanks to uh, Masa TV um, who are sponsoring this event and there you get to recreate my Anzac inspired bubur sumsum and then guess what I mean I'm going to watch from Australia but I'm going to yeah. watch what you guys put up you mm -hmm. need to put your photos up and tag them all the instructions mm -hmm. will be up and um mm -hmm. There'll be judges. There's going to be about five winners selected. So, yeah. teman-teman, ya kita ada uh, kompetisi uh, buat makan, buat bikin bubur sumsum -sum. dan di Australia kita nanti liatin uh, all your bubur sumsum -sum, uh, mereka. Uh, terus kita nanti uh, apa ya? <laughs> kita nanti we're going to choose five winners, right? Yes, yeah. five winners. <laughs> so not one, five winners. <laughs> so if I was you, you've got more of a chance of winning uh, a prize. So get cooking. It's super easy. I think there's about half an hour or so left for iftar time in Indonesia. Uh, you saw how long this took me to make. I mean, really? <laughs> get in that kitchen. <laughs> no. <laughs> so thank you all do you want to taste this yeah a little bit taste this one yeah. jump in right there mm. how is that not that i love the crunch <laughs> yeah that's all right i'm talking about <laughs> but yeah you've got I'll talk for you while you're, <laughs> while you're chewing away. But the what what Izzy is tasting is the beautiful soft pudding texture, but also it's it's counteracted with the beautiful crunch mm. of the Anzac biscuit praline. Yeah, I can really taste the Anzac biscuit elements in there. Perfect. Yeah, with the very um, smooth velvety bubur sumsum. 
<laughs> That's what I asked. So what about the hot version? I'll try this one too. Or warm. I think they eat it warm. Yeah. Mm, love it with small. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, as you said, a hug in a bowl. Yeah. Mm. Yum. <laughs> well, that's that's me, you know. <laughs> I've made this for you. Time for you guys to go and recreate that. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Terima kasih, teman-teman. Terima kasih semuanya dan terima kasih kepada Chef Hoda dan Mbak Ibi. Uh, demo masak yang sangat menarik dan membuat saya lapor. Bagaimana dengan Anda? Selamat juga, sebelum saya lupa, selamat kepada Magdalena Atmaja, Endiri Kurniawati, dan Sinta Perwito. Selamat kepada semuanya yang pertanyaan terpilih. Tunggu tim kami menghubungi Anda segera ya. Juga jangan lupa untuk mengikuti tetangan berikut dengan cara upload foto atau video makanan berikut challenge Anda sebelum pada tanggal 23 April. Boleh di Facebook atau Instagram dan tag at Kedubes Australia dan Masak TV. Oke, okay. silakan lihat sosial media Kedubes Australia Jakarta dan Masak TV untuk detail lebih lanjut. Oke okay, semuanya, waktu berbuka puasa hampir tiba dan ini saatnya saya undur diri. Jangan lupa ikuti tetangan Riku kami dan sampai bertemu dua minggu dari sekarang untuk ngak bubur bersama Chef Hoda Hanawe yang kedua. Terima kasih atas waktunya dan selamat berbuka puasa semuanya. Oke, okay, sampai jumpa lagi semuanya.